Publishers have been trusting Adobe to help them create gorgeous looking book covers for years. But with the introduction of EPUBs, that whole thing is thrown out the window. EPUB is in a format that's linear. That means everything has to be reflowing. So when you take time to design a beautiful cover, all of those elements can't make it to an EPUB. So how do we fix that? Well, InDesign is an amazing application for creating these EPUBs. But I'm going to show you how we can place an InDesign file in an InDesign file, and it's going to give you the exact front cover that you need for your EPUB. All right, here we are in InDesign looking at book cover for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This cover is made up of an image that we see right here. It's made up of other graphic elements. Here we've got type that has a background and this green background and that green background. These are all elements that are either imported or drawn inside InDesign. And if we just keep going to the rest of the book, we can see there's our layout and there's the rest of the pages. So when we export this out as an EPUB, the file menu, export, EPUB, and I'm just going to stick it on my desktop and just use the default results and we're going to view the EPUB after exporting in Digital Editions. I'll export that. Let's have a look at the result. Yo! There it is. Oh, let's go back up to the cover and the thing about EPUBs is they reflow. That's the whole idea behind it. So let me open this up and show you our beautiful cover now looks like this. That's on one page and that's on another page and then our text starts flowing inside here. So EPUBs are not, that's not broken. EPUBs just work that way. They reflow on different devices so that you can make them readable. So when a typical designer has their front cover completely destroyed by this, they are freaking out because they've gone to all this work to create a beautiful cover. And we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but you know what? We all do. We want a beautiful cover. So how do we fix this? It's really, really simple. Let me show you. I'm going to get out of Digital Editions, back into InDesign. And this is my cover. I'm just going to take all of these elements off the front cover and delete them. I've got the front cover all on its own in an InDesign document. So I'll choose Place, grab the cover, open that up, and you can see this is our uh, regular cursor that's allowing us to place this where we want. So I'll click in the upper left-hand corner, and it now comes in as a self-contained InDesign document. Uh, when I click and move, you see everything moves around in one. This is the secret. Watch what happens now when we go to File, Export, EPUB, I'll stick this on the desktop, replace the one I had there, default settings, and look at that. Let's open this up so we can see it full screen. And now when we go through the document, that's our first page. It looks like that, and then the rest is starting to reflow correctly. What's actually happening is the front cover that was a very complex design of, of a combination of InDesign drawn elements, type, and an image, the whole thing gets converted to an image. So you guarantee all of your beautiful typesetting, your gorgeous work, stays intact when you now hand this off to that very unruly format called EPUB. So let's make sure our front covers look as good as the content, and let's have fun.